start using Automation Studio, we're simply going to go to the menu and locate Automation Studio, whatever version it shows. This happens to be 6.3. It is a large program. It takes a moment to load, so you have to, have to be patient for that. When it comes up, we're going to choose a paper type and style. If you get this screen, just say later. You don't need to register it. Same way if there's an update, just ignore that. That's handled by the uh, IT administrators. Now, if it's come up like this, our first thing we're going to do is go click on here and click Project and say we want a new project. And normally you'll see this dialog. It may not show it on mine as I've already done it. And we're going to pick default. You could also just pick this. It just has to do which what size the paper is. But I've already started a document that I want to use that just has a couple graphics on it. So I'll load that. Now that it's loaded in, we're going to look at a few parts of the screen. This top part is your typical menus, edit, view, that's where we can zoom in, home. We'll be learning about those and other items. And I want to point out this orb. We'll be using this quite a bit. Then we have our libraries. And you want to be careful, as I'll cover later, but there's all sorts of libraries that we can use. But when we're clicked at the head, it shows us a good use of favorites or commonly used symbols. So that's what we'll work from. If we need more symbols, we can click on this little triangle and access other shapes. They are real symbols. They're cylinders, they're valves, they have flow rates, the lines, etc. This isn't an animator, this is a simulator. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover up how to s we're cover how to set the default units, how to use the library of components, create a circuit diagram. So first part, we're going to go here and just verify that the project properties are set in standards. So if we scroll down, we say units. We want to change that to imperial. That way, it's going to match our PSI world. So we went to the orb, went to Project Properties, scrolled down under the Standards, and picked that, and hit the check mark. And we're going to change that. By doing it at the beginning, we don't have to change it for each component. Now we're going to make this similar circuit, but we don't have these manifolds. That's kind of a a learning thing that Amatrol's put in, so we're going to work with a typical supply. So we're simply going to take and build this circuit by dragging a pump out. I clicked and dragged. We'll need that. That'll be our supply. We'll need some reservoirs. We'll uh, bring those out, and we might need a couple. We can always go get more. We're going to need, looks like, a, a DCV. So here's a four-way, uh, three-position DCV. We'll bring that out. And we need a cylinder. We want to have a double-acting cylinder. And um, you know that's pretty good for right now. But we're going to also need a relief valve. So we go down here. And uh, here's a pressure relief valve. And then we're going to start working on this. So a couple things. I can click and drag these around. Now, often we see things like this. And we have to right click on this. And there's a property called transformation. And you could do it with Control h or just rotate right. And now that looks a little bit more like the picture. Now. I can put this here. It'll kind of self-align. And to connect something, uh, we'll show that in a moment. And we'll say, well, if we want to match the picture, we need to transform this around. Um, so 
here I think I say, you know, I don't know if I want to do that. I'll just do it up here and I'll be happy with it. So now to connect things, when I go near one of these red ones, I simply hover there and it's going to give a target. I click and release. I'm not holding the mouse down. And now I click approximately where I think line up is. I don't have to be. And then it will just connect. They're no longer red, they're connected. I might do this in case I want to add a flow control and needle valve. I can click, click. I'm not holding down. There, that's been hooked up. The same can be for the relief valve. I'm clicking there, I've released the mouse, and I click here. Okay, now I want to click here, but I need to go to this conductor there. And you see it won't connect. That's because there's no T there or implied T. So I have it approximately there. I'm going to hold the shift key and double click. And now it's there. So now I've got that there. I can take this and slide that up. And uh, like this, I can bring this over. I don't have to go right there. I can go here and bring that over. So hey, I've built this circuit. Other than I pointed the DCB the other way, we see the top line is going to the cap. The B line is going there. And we're ready to go. So we've transformed some components. We connected. We changed the routing just by clicking at different places. Okay. So now we're going to add some components like the flow meter. And this one you know, might be a little tight right there. So if I click and drag a little rectangle, um, I can pull these down and it will extend the wires. So I can go like this and I can say, you know, I want to do that. And oddly enough, it moved the T, but I think we're okay. And then I'm going to go here, but I'm going to hold shift and it will put it in line. We'll find out if this is an issue later. I don't think it is. It's just dragged it to a new place. So now that we've done that, we're going to add a couple more things like a pressure gauge. Now the pressure gauge seems to be smarter, so I'm going to put it here, and it knows it makes its own T. I can drag one here. Now I could put it here, and then I could click here, and I could double click, and that'll form that connection. I can also go here, and uh, this one I say, well, I want it that way, but I double click here. So not a bad little circuit. We have it going. Not a bad idea to just go up here to project and hit save. So it saved it. I have it going. Okay. There's a menu called simulate, and there's this green button that says start simulation. Well, we can do that, and uh, we can hit simulate, and it goes into simulation, and now when we operate this, we see it goes, and if we click here, it goes, or if we click in the middle. Now when you have the red check mark, you've kind of forced the valve there. So now we're going to go over to our relief valve. We're going to click on that during simulation and I can put this down to whatever pressure I want to have. We can see the flow we're getting. Now, we don't need the exact numbers for a lot of our work, so it's kind of arbitrary what you set it, but you can see we're getting full pressure here. There's, and when we go the other way, we'll see that pressure here. Now here, I could click on the pump and I could change the size of the pump, if you will. And you can see the GPM changing. Again, if you're just testing the function of your idea, well, we see this now takes longer. This component has a diameter. It has a length that also we could edit. Pretty cool. So there we have a totally functioning circuit. We're able to see it work. And I'm going to come out of simulation. And I just want to show the view menu. 
If I go view, I can say zoom on all components. It's brought that up there, made it fit a little bit better. I could zoom out, whatever you like to do. But that seems to work well. So here's our basic circuit. Now later, in some of your other circuits, you may need something that's not there. So you might need later, you're going to learn about a pressure valve. And here's a pressure valve. And there's a thing called a sequence valve. And then there's different type of sequence valves. Make sure you pick one that has the lines that look just like the one you're using. Some will have no adjustments. Some will have adjustments. So like this regulator doesn't show the adjustment arrow, but is, is in the simulation, as that can cause problems. As much as possible, pick from this library <coughs> and go to the other library when needed. There's a lot of different components. So that's it. To review, we started a project. We set the default units to PSI. That was by going to Project Properties and choosing Standards. And then we chose the US. You can look back at that. We found out about the library of components. And we made this circuit. So feel free to use this. There's a guide up front of the classroom. Give some tips on creating circuits and simulations. Um, you have to run it in the lab or on one of our machines, but it's a, it's a great package. Any questions, see your instructor. Thank you.